Hello everybody and welcome to North American Elite. This is your host Danny Jackpot. Tonight this is Roadblock episode 2. We are live. We are gonna have the tag team of the fraternity Jason James and Brian Shields getting ready to take on Marcus Matrix and or the team of the fraternity. Yeah, Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce taking on Brian Shields and Jason James. I am your host, Danny Jackpot. The fraternity making their way out now. Unsuccessful in tag team effort against Chris Snyder and Nate Farron on their last aggression. These two looking to bounce back and pick up a win against three-time UNAW Eastern tag team champions and Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce. As we are here in NAEW Roadblock 2, Jason James entering the ring. Tonight we also will have some Rising Star Championship tournament match when Brandon Starmer takes on a Hugo. And it looks like Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce are getting ready to make their way down in the ring. Everyone, we're going, we're getting ready for an NAEW Six Sense, and some things that have already been announced officially at NAEW is that Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony will take on each other at Six Sense. We will also see a TLC match. That is correct, a TLC match for the Maple Leaf Championship. Speaking of Canadians, here comes Marcus Matrix and the proud Canadian Dale Von Deuce now. Dale Von Deuce, we've been seeing him switch over more to his Canadian-like instincts. We've seen him lose in the first round of the Rising Star Championship Tournament. Dale Von Deuce did. Lost to Alex Snow on the last aggression. Hoping to bounce back. These two men are making their way down the ring. The Hollywood Canadian Connection, they want to call themselves now. As we see, Jason James is going after Dale Von Deuce's face here. Both these teams definitely disliked by the fans. It's going to be interesting to see who these fans get behind this match. Your host, Danny Jackpot, here for more North American Elite Wrestling action. I can tell you right now that Marcus Matrix and Brandon Shields are still both in the Rising Star Championship Tournament as Jason James went low and I think he was he was able to miss a plate he was just put himself in the way of the referee where he didn't see it Brent Shields the biggest fan in this match making his way in the ring right now knocked down Dale Von Deuce with a big just club in the back of the head they were able, able to kick Brandon back though in the face to Dale Von Deuce taking Brandon down now to Dale tagging his partner Marcus the smarter the smarter the, the, I would say both these tag teams are actually very smart in tag team wrestling Dale Von Deuce and Marcus Matrix, though, both former Brutality Champions here at NAEW. Belly to back suplex on Marcus Matrix. Jason James and Brandon Shields actually are both former IT ITF Singles Television Champions. Back at the Independent Training Facility. Brandon Shields. Jason James had both gone to college on wrestling degrees. As Marcus Matrix has the better of Brandon Shields, knocking him down with a big back elbow. Marcus Matrix on delivering an elbow. What has Marcus Matrix have planned for Brandon Shields? Brandon Shields reversing whatever Marcus Matrix has planned, punching him in the face. But Marcus Matrix was able to bring Brandon Shields down. Got a lot of action here in NAEW tonight for everybody. Marcus Matrix looking for some kind of move. Getting reversed. We're going to have two Divas matches also. Both those Divas matches are going to be number one contenders for the Divas Championship Fatal 4-Way. We've already seen Lilith make her way or, or earn her way into the championship match. The Fatal 4-Way Divas Championship match at Sixth Sense. On the next aggression, we're going to see Biff Andreas and Zack Starr take on Smokey and Andrew Hunter. That'll be interesting. The winner's going on to Sixth Sense to face the Crusade for the Tag Team Championship.
Marcus Matrix going after Jason James here. Jason James with a chop block to Marcus Matrix though, knocking him down. Jason James now just choking out Marcus Matrix. And then a jawbreaker by Jason James. I'm excited to be here for the second edition of Roblox, everybody. This is an AEW, the rebranding. The this is just this is just great. Marcus Matrix knocking down Jason James and clotheslines. Heel kick, nails it. Jumping heel kick there. Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Du seem to have control of the fraternity. A spine buster! Trying to, try to bust the spine of Jason James. Got count. One, two, no, only in two. Marcus Matrix now. Was he at plan? Looking for that walk of shame. He has Jason James in the right position. Does, nails it. Jason James could be done here. Marcus Matrix, the Matrix cover. The Matrix cover again, getting no count there. Marcus Matrix screwing with the Matrix right there. Knocking down. Jason James with a clothesline in Marcus Matrix. And now just delivering a fist, a fist drop to the face of Jason James. Marcus Matrix getting reversed now. Jason James with a big kick. Knocking Marcus Matrix down with an elbow. Jason James should be looking for a tag right here, I think. He can't be strong. Got to cover. One. Dale was there to break it up, but then Brandon Shields able to knock down Dale. Jason James should be looking for a tag here, in my opinion. Looking for a big suplex. Nails it as you play. And then not, and then kicking Marcus Matrix down to the mat. Looking for a cover again. Dale there once again to break it up though. Dale and Marcus, Dale and Marcus had, were one of the more successful tag teams of 2017 and 2018 here. Not in AEW, but around the Cottonaverse, the Coverse, the Eon Network, whatever you want to call themselves. Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce has had a lot of, a lot of tag team success. Fraternity not having as much success as these two men. Marcus Matrix looks to make a tag. Looks to tag in Dale Von Deuce. Dale's up the tag. Knocks down Jason. Knocks down Brandon Shields. Dale Von Deuce. What's he got here? Power slamming down the mat. Dale Von Deuce looking to get the, the weak Jason James. Two, three. Gets the cover. Marcus Matrix and Dale have won this match. Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce after Jason James has taken some punishment. A strong power slam. Knocking Brandon Shields off the apron to Dale Von Deuce to win this match. That spine buster there only in two. A spine buster, a walk into shame, a power slam, puts down Jason James on the second roadblock. And the fraternity comes up unsuccessful again. Got the cover, but you see, as you've seen Dale broke it up, that power slam, the impact of that power slam, Brian Shields nowhere to be seen because Dale had knocked him off on the apron. The tag team wrestling of Dale and Marcus once again successful here tonight in North American Elite. And we still have three matches to present to you, everybody, as Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Du celebrate our her good, earned, hard fought victory, I will say. Looking impressive tonight, Dale Von Deuce and Marcus Matrix. As we gotta move on now, we're gonna see the second ever women's match here in NAEW when Cheryl Nicholson will take on Denise Parkinson. That's right, Denise Parkinson and Cheryl Nicholson having a match here tonight. The interesting thing about Cheryl Nicholson is that this is TJ Nicholson's wife. Yes, you've heard me correctly. TJ Nicholson's wife is is Cheryl Nicholson. And Nick Gemini's girlfriend is Denise 
Parkinson. So that's so that's an little interesting fact about this match is we're gonna see a wife of one and a girlfriend of another fight each other. As Cheryl Nicholson, the fans not behind Cheryl Nicholson, it seems to be. Cheryl Nicholson, though, a fine singles wrestler in her. Uh, a fine singles lady wrestler here for the Divas Division of NAEW. We've already seen, like I said earlier, seen Lilith move on as Denise Parkinson makes her way down in the ring. Denise Parkinson, girlfriend of Nick Gemini. Fans seem to be cheering this. Both these girls coming alone tonight, not with their men. I know Nick Gemini and TJ Nicholson are in the back. As these two ladies are about to wrestle the second ever ladies match here in NAEW. The winner will move on to the Divas Championship match at Six Sense, the Fatal 4-Way. Which, which we are being told that it is now going to be a Fatal 4-Way elimination match. So a Fatal 4-Way elimination match will be the match at Six Sense. As Parkinson has Nicholson down with, with a slap. Parkinson going after Cheryl. Cheryl, though, reversing Cheryl Nicholson, Denise Parkinson, everybody. Two of the divas here in NAEW. One of these two ladies could possibly be the next divas champion in NAEW. Cheryl Nicholson choking out Denise Parkinson. Knocking her down with an arm drag. Nice to see NAEW. Like I said, they, they, when they said they were evolving and rebranding, I never thought a women's division. Yes, I never thought that myself. Here I am now calling my first ever women's match on Roadblock. The first ever women's match for Roadblock right here will be these two lady wrestlers. And then a bulldog by Denise Parkinson. Denise now. Oh, taking her down to the mat. Big knee to the rib cage on Cheryl Nicholson by Denise Parkinson with the with the with the low drop kick on Cheryl's knee. These two ladies fighting it out. Only one of these two can move on to the, the Divas Championship match at six cents. Also, we're gonna have Chantel Queen taking on Red Hood. Rachel Cross. Later tonight. Cheryl Nicholson choking out Denise Parkinson. Springboard crossbody by Cheryl. Showing a little bit of her agility tonight. Being married to one half the United States Tag Team Champions, TJ Nicholson, is Cheryl. Now applying an Indian death lock in the ring, Cheryl Nicholson. Shades of the game, Triple H. Shades of Chief J Strongbow also. Also uses a sleeper hold, Chief J. Spin, big spin kick. The Cheryl Nicholson. One, two. Oh, and almost getting a three count on Parkinson, but no, Nicholson only getting a two. Cheryl. Parkinson looked done. Only one of these two ladies can move on to the Divas Championship match. Taking her down, double leg takedown by Parkinson. Parkinson got Nicholson up. Oh, dropping her down on the knee. One, two, no, only in two, the referee says. Not taking her down with the spear, though. Did Parkinson, Nicholson got taken down with the spear. One, two, three, no. Nicholson kicked down with the spear. That was devastating. Nicholson somehow gets firm control back in this match, though. This is not what Parkinson wanted after that. Denise Parkinson nailed the spear. Almost won this match. Huge two count only. Nicholson trying to get control of this match. Like I said, she seemed to have found, got, gotten it back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What did she just do? 
Cheryl Nicholson. What is Cheryl? Oh my God! Just grinding her face against the ring ropes. It's Cheryl Nicholson. I've seen the CJ Nicholson inside of her now. Why these two are married? Cheryl Nicholson telling off the fans. Parkinson nailing her down with the kick. Big high kick by Cheryl Nicholson. After grinding her face into the rope. Two, three, Cheryl Nicholson wins this match. And you could possibly be looking at your very first ever NAEW Divas Champion. And Cheryl Nicholson. The ruthlessness in her. As you see, this almost winning. Uh, Parkinson the match, but no, only getting a, getting a long two. That spear only getting a long two. And then Cheryl just with an array of maneuvers that I don't see the male wrestlers use too often. That high kick right there. Then Shades of the Great Danny Jack Paul with that high kick. Cheryl Nicholson in two, three. And Cheryl Nicholson, like I said, you could, you could be you could be very well looking at the very next Divas Champion here at NAEW. Referee Charles Adams watching his hands, knowing that TJ Nicholson is in the back. Cheryl Nicholson successful here in NAEW. North American Elite, Cheryl Nicholson. She is, we're going to see two Nicholson's in title matches at six cents. Will they be walking away with two championships? As we move on now to the... To the next match of Rising, the Rising Star Championship. Hugo Sullivan, two-time Brutality Champion, first round tournament bracket matchup. Hugo Sullivan has told me, along with Isakoff and Sebastian Murphy, they have teamed up to make a new, a new gang of the Mean Street Mafia. The Mean Street Mafia. Hugo coming at it alone. The bruiser he calls himself in the Main Street Mafia is Hugo Sullivan. He's going to take on a man who's also a former brutality champion and Johnny Farmer. This match, though, is not for the brutality championship or it's not for the brutality brackets. This is for the Rising Star Championship first round brackets. We've already seen guys like Mike Valentin move on in this tournament. We've already seen now... Alex Snow will move on the tournament. This will be the third man to move on the tournament. As dangerous Johnny Farmer makes his way down the ring. Dangerous Johnny Farmer, like I said, a former NAW Brutality Champion. We've seen him win the six-man ladder match in the very first ever roadblock to win that belt. Lost on aggression in a fatal four-way backstage brawl to L. Lightning. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I went for coffee. As Johnny Farmer gets himself ready to face Hugo. And the fans, I think, are starting to get a little bit behind Johnny Farmer, I must say. I would say that the fans very impressed with that six-man ladder match victory. This man's been brawling it here in AEW. This will be his first singles match, actually, in AEW yet. Johnny Farmer getting a chance to prove himself in a singles non-disqualification match here on the second edition of Roadblock. Taking on Hugo. And Hugo relaxing in that corner. Got the size advantage over almost everybody in, the, in, in, in AEW does Hugo. Not, not, not Chris Snyder. Not buff-wise, but Hugo's a big man. The bruiser of the mainstream mafia, he calls himself. Dangerous Johnny Farmer here alone in AEW. Neckbreaker. Something that will be coming after Six Sense that I know Johnny Farmer will be a part of is the Makes Match Turmoil Match. That's right, a roadblock to be dedicated to a Makes Match Turmoil Match, where the winning two will be go on to the seventh in AAW pay per view, where they will also get a shot at the Divas at Maple Leaf Championship shot. That is what I've been told. The Rising Star Championship, as I said, Alex Snow and. Mike Valander already moving on. This will be the third man to move on in this match. Will it be Hugo or will it be Johnny Farmer? Dangerous Johnny Farmer.
Johnny Farmer, Hurricane Rana taking down Hugo. Hugo, though, the bigger of the two men. Between these two men, three brutality championship reigns. Hugo is actually the first ever two time champion in AEW, winning that brutality championship twice. The only two time champion in AEW so far is Hugo. Hugo knocking down Johnny Farmer with a big shoulder tackle and kicking him in the swell of the back. Oh no. Hugo had his hands on Johnny Farmer. Johnny Farmer just kicked him right in the breadbasket. Now kicking him in the now, now kicking him again in the bread basket is Johnny Farmer also delivering a nice little body uh, little body uppercut right there. Hugo though with a big elbow to the back of Johnny Farmer's head. Bringing him down with a snap mirror and then bringing an elbow to the back of Farmer's head. Farmer though getting around Hugo nailing a DDT. Float over DDT by Johnny Farmer. Which one of these men will be a third man in the Rising Star Championship quarterfinals? 16 men. Two so far moved on. This is the winner of this match will be the third. Dangerous Johnny Farmer checking Hugo in the swallow the back. Former brutality champion is Johnny Farmer. Would love to get that belt back too, I imagine. He said he'd represent the division with proud here on, on, on Twitter. At Farmer Johnny is his Twitter. Big knee to Johnny Farmer. Hugo's just all about power, all about dominance. Hugo won the Turkey Bowl. Getting a two count on Johnny Farmer with that big rib breaker. Did Hugo. Off the ropes now is Hugo. Johnny Farmer. Johnny Farmer showing some power himself. Johnny Farmer catches Hugo in midair. Turns it into a go to farm to sleep. The farm knee by Johnny Farmer only in a two count. Oh my god. Boss's orders. Boss's orders by Hugo. And this has got to be. Oh my god. Farmer kicks out. Both these men have just kicked out of each other's finishers. And on roadblock. Both men only getting two. Johnny Farmer catch Hugo in midair. I can't believe that. Able to, able to turn Hugo into that farm knee. Johnny Farmer now. Though, he looked like he had gotten some momentum. Hugo was able to stop him right in his tracks. Hugo now, the shin breaker. Trying to pick up Farmer, but Farmer reversing. Farmer with a big forearm, kips up this Farmer. Manhattan drop by Farmer. Scoop slam by Farmer. What has Farmer got planned? Farmer picking him up. Farmer looking for that second farm knee. Farm knee nails it. Farm knee, a second farm knee on Hugo. One, two, three. Johnny Farmer picks up a win on the second edition of Roadblock. He moves on to the tournament. Dangerous Johnny Farmer. You got to be kidding me. As Hugo took down... Johnny Farmer with that rib breaker. We see to nail him with that. That boss's orders only in two. Johnny Farmer showing some resiliency. Looking for the farm knee right here. Nails it on Hugo. The farm knee. Picking up Johnny Farmer. The one. The two. The three. Here on roadblock. Johnny Farmer moves on the Rising Star Championship Tournament. And Johnny Farmer scaring off referee Charles Adams. And Johnny Farmer picking up and celebrating a successful win and moving on to the Rising Star Championship Tournament once again is Johnny Farmer here on Roadblock 2 in AEW. <coughs> it's main event time here in AEW. And who's main eventing in an AEW? It's the Divas Division, everyone! Red Hood, Rachel Cross, 
Chantel Queen, the main event of Roblox 2. Red Hood Rachel Cross. Red Hood Rachel Cross. Wearing a red hood just like little Red Riding Hood. This woman, I can tell you right now, is no little Red Riding Hood. She is not innocent. No, she is not. Look how she is dressed. She is the tallest woman in the Divas Division so far. It is Cheryl Cross standing at five foot six. The long legs of Cheryl Cross. But Cheryl Cross, I mean Rachel Cross, will have to take on this lady, the fan favorite. The fans go nuts for Chantel Queen. The fans are on their feet. Chantel Queen is here in North American Elite. Lord and proud is Chantel Queen. Lord and proud is Chantel Queen. The fans, she's. She's clapping fans with the hands. Clapping the fans' hands. Chantel Queen getting the fans behind her. The fans are already behind. Rachel Cross staring Chantel Queen down in the ring. Can't believe the reaction that Chantel is Queen. Chantel Queen is getting in the main event. That is Chantel Queen, everybody. Loud and proud, she calls herself. Getting ready to take on Rachel Cross. The the thickest of the ladies, Chantel Queen, in the Divas Division, taking on the tallest of the ladies in the Divas Division. This is an interesting match in the main event of Roadblock. We've seen Lilith. We've seen Cheryl Nicholson both qualify. This will be the third Diva to qualify for six sets of Divas Championship match. The final match being Alexandria Marie and, and Kara Lee taking on each other on the next edition of Aggression. And Chantel Queen knocking Rich Cross down with the Insiguri. Think the fans would like to see Chantel Queen possibly in that Fatal 4-Way match for the Divas Championship. That Fatal 4-Way elimination now as we've been told. And both these Divas, again, not, not, nothing that I didn't mention earlier in the, in the Divas match earlier, that both these Divas... Making their NAEW debut when you're the only second Divas match and you're in the second round of a tournament, guess what? It's going to be your debut. The third round, very the same. Alexandria Marie, Car and, and, and or Alexand Alexandria Marie and Carol Lee, they both are going to have to make their debuts in the, in, on aggression. We haven't even seen them yet. Unless you've been to the live shows. Chantel Queen. Getting knocked down, taken down by Rachel Cross. Gonna have to use her height advantage over Chantel Queen somehow. Knee to the gut. And that's a big gut. Loud and proud. Chantel Queen taking down the mat. Snap here. Take that 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 rollover. That that rollover just face butt buster by Chantel, by Rachel Cross and Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen knows got Rachel Cross. We can't see the bigger opponent defeated as we just seen Hugo get defeated by Johnny Farmer earlier in the match. Right? Oh my God, taking Rachel Cross down. Oh my God, only in a one count, shockingly. Ran at Rachel Cross. Chantel Queen. Oh my God, has got Rachel Cross in the air. Why she's watching around the room. Oh my God, what did Chantel Queen just do to Rachel Cross? Two. Rachel Cross kicks out! I think, oh my god, Chantel Queen showing the power of herself here on Roadblock Episode 2! Hurricane Rana by Rachel Cross now! Chantel Queen impressing the fans, impressing me here on Roadblock! She just marched around with Rachel Cross. I'm surprised that's not it. The impact of that maneuver. Rachel Cross is in desperation mode, I can tell. Spinning back kick. Rachel Cross is what it was. This is where you see a wrestler's instincts kick in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gentile Queen has just taken her down the mat. STO. One, two. 
only getting a two count which will cross you into resiliency. But Shen Zhao Queen's got the power. Loud, proud, strong. Oh my god, Fisherman Suplex now. Big elbow drop on Shen by Shen Zhao Queen. Got Rachel Cross against the ropes. Was she a plan whipping her? Going for a huge German suplex, the power of Chantel Queen. Rachel Cross, the tallest of the women in the division, being thrown around like a rag doll. T bone suplex by Chantel Queen. Throwing her down. One, two, three. Chantel Queen picks up the win here on the main event of Roadblock. Are you kidding me? Chantel Queen makes quick, easy work of Rachel Cross. Powerful, dominant, loud, and proud. Chantel Queen is going to be the third woman to be. Moving on with Lilith, Cheryl Nicholson, in AEW Six Sense Divas Division. We only got one more diva to figure out who's going to be the fourth diva in that match. Getting the three count to Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen has nothing but celebrating the victory now. Chantel Queen, I'm proud of you. Yeah! Chantel Queen, main eventing, dominating here on Roadblock. This is your host, Danny Jackpot, saying good fight, good night.